What's going on, everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here. And today we're looking at the current state of crypto mining, something I like to do pretty much every single month. I am a little late. I like to do it at the start of the month, but things have been pretty busy lately as crypto mining profitability has been picking up quite a bit right across the board, CPUs, GPUs, as well as ASICs. Oh, nice. Hey, guys, come here. Check this out. I'm getting some miners from Miner Bros. I bet you didn't know this. With Miner Bros, what you see is what you get. The cost of the item is shipping cost to your door, including import fees. That means no hidden fees later on, unlike the other guys, which nail you at the checkout. So what are you waiting for? Get your ASICs today. Link is in the description and code RABID will grant $50 off every individual item. All right, so we are going to be starting off with the GPU side of things. That's one of the most popular ways to mine crypto. Now, bear with me. I got a new mic. I'm adjusting my sound and everything still, so things might be a little bit off. Let me know down in the comment section what things are kind of sounding like right now. Regardless, let's start off here with the RTX 4090, and I recently just picked up one of these, and it is an absolute beast. So we can see Carlson is the current highest profit at $2.17. This coin just kind of came out of nowhere. It is a Casper fork. It has been the most profitable coin for the past couple of weeks. The price has dropped quite a bit, but it's still remaining supreme. Now we're moving forward to the 4080. It's still looking like Carlson here. Now, if you have cheap power and looking for the highest revenue, the 4090 is would be Nexa would be your best choice here. Let's kind of look at some of the most popular GPUs here, like the 3070, which is the most used GPU in a platform like Hive OS. It's looking like Chlor AI is the top coin. Now, this can sometimes be deceiving. I'm going to click on it here and see, and it is actually Chlor. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Sometimes Hashrate.no will have the top coin right at the start. But if you click on it, you might see a different order. So in this case, Carlson is not the top coin here, and it's looking like Chlor actually is. Now, depending on your power and if you have more expensive power this might be a better option for you i am at 11 cent per kilowatt hour right now i also personally don't really like the dual mining options and it looks like ghost rider is in third place with maxter here that's pretty crazy so it is looking like other than the 4090 and 4080 that the majority of the other gpus is chlor right now but the thing here is we are not at like 10 cents or 15 cent profit after power we are sitting around 76 cents 75 cents you know over a dollar two dollars for the 4090 but we're actually seeing some decent profitability on the majority of the gpus here sure we're not at like ten dollars and fourteen dollars and five dollars depending how your gpu you're using and when ethereum was around but we're not in the negatives and we're actually seeing some profitability here and if you have a thousand gpus or something this definitely does add up all right so let's have a look at the cpu mining side of things so here we are starting off with the 3900X, one of the most popular CPUs that you could get for mining due to the fact that it's a few years old. So a lot of gamers and stuff are selling them fairly cheap on the used market. Now the AM4 platform in general is kind of going up in price. So that's one thing to kind of take note of. AM5 has dropped about 60 to 65% in build costs from when it first released. So these two are kind of getting closer together. But again, you're probably going to find the C CPUs alone a lot cheaper for the 3900X. But regardless, we got Zeph here looking like a dollar 63, 11 cent per kilowatt hour of profit, almost two bucks if you had free power. We got Reaction here at a dollar 23, Sky Tier at a dollar 18, uh, MechQ AI here we got it at a dollar 15, Arsenality RG here at a dollar 13. We're seeing a lot of coins over a dollar in profitability here after power on the single 3900x let's jump up a generation to the 50 now the 5900x isn't really my cup of tea i find the 3000 kind of outperforms it a little bit but they are pretty close let's jump up a whole generation here look at the 7900x which i actually don't have all the testing on so we're going to go to the 7950x and we're going to calculate that and we can see Zeph here is over $2 at $2.28 after power, $2.62 if you had free power. We got Reaction, $1.79. We got Sky Tier, $1.71. The Mechie AI there at $1.67. A lot of coins at the dollar to $2 range, depending on your power price. Let's look at a beast. We're going to go straight into the Epic 7742 here. We're going to calculate that. 
and we can see Zep is six dollars after power, seven dollars free power. Reaction is four fifty nine, four forty on Sky Tier. Meki AI four twenty eight. Absolutely insane. Now let's take a look at the dual epic, which in theory would be just doubling the hash rate up, but it isn't quite as efficient I found as the single epic. But this thing is an absolute beast. That almost twelve dollars after power and profits. We got thirteen eighty nine if we had free power reaction eight fifty profit. It, sky tier 814 profit and the big thing here if bitmain ever does release firmware to mine zeph on the bitmain x5 this thing is going to be a dominant force look at this we got 27 dollars 53 after power if it could mine zeph right now or 31 dollars if you had free power but it is stuck on only xmr still monero which is currently making where is it that far down okay let's scroll up here where is it uh, oh, Monero is just right here. I'm kind of blind. So it's only making $3.48 after power, $7 if you had free power, but it has the potential to be making over $27 at my power price. There is a huge gap there in profitability that Bitmain has not yet tapped into. Obviously, if they do this, it's going to drop the profitability across the board on everything, including all them CPUs we just looked at. So what's going to happen? Let me know if you think firmware will drop for this down in the comments section. All right, guys, so now let's have a peek at some of the ASICs here. And as we know, as usual, the past five, six months, whenever they first released, Caspa has been the dominant force in ASIC profitability, and it still is. It's not $3,000, 3500 or something when the KS3 first released, but it is still over $100 a day, and Caspa block rewards keep dropping, and the price has been dipping for the past few weeks as well. So keep that in mind. The network hash rate has definitely been skyrocketing, but we're still seeing it as the dominant miner to have in your arsenal in terms of profitability. We do have some Bitcoin miners slowly creeping up here november 2023 this thing uses over 7,000 watts for 390 terahash but it is making 20 dollars after power which is crazy if you had cheap power this thing is obviously a dominant force we got the app miner s21 not yet released 335 terahash over 5,000 watts Current pricing is looking at $19. Remember, the Bitcoin halving is going to happen in about five or six months or so. So this is going to drop quite a bit, depending on the price of Bitcoin. And if those ordinals hit, we could see massive block rewards happen, just like previous 1559 and Ethereum. Bitcoin could run into the same issues here with transactions taking forever, but the block rewards are going to be huge, making massive profitability. That's a huge gamble for one of these miners i don't recommend a bitcoin miner for home miners because one they're loud you can get silencing kits on them i have done multiple videos in the past on those but they draw so much power for the profitability that you actually get and residential miners don't really have cheap power out there Continuing on, we do have the Jazz Miner X16P. It's currently making about $7.52. Now, I'm not sure which coin they're actually calculating. A lot of these only use like FW and stuff. So I don't know if Octospace and POW blocks and all that stuff is being calculated into this. We'll look at something else in a minute on the ASIC side and see if it's still around $7 or a lot higher or not. We got the L7 sitting there at the 9.5 giga hash. That's $7 a day. You know, the L7 8.8 .8 is at $6 a day. And then the profitability from this point on is just pretty much going down. The Ice River KS0 Pro, very popular miner. That's the lowest entry fee to Caspa here. It's currently making about $2.49. Just to touch up on the ASICs a little bit, as we saw the X16P on ASIC miner value was stating around $7. If we come into here and we can see BTM and KAU here, we're almost at $30. Well, $31. If we had free power, $26 after power. So you can tell that they are not calculating a lot of these other ETHash coins. And there's a lot more profitable ones out there than some of these calculators are actually telling us. So the X16P and Q are both looking decently profitable right now. Now moving on to the FPGAs, starting with the E300. Now take note, there is an update available that does increase the hash rate on Radiant. I have not yet tried that, but I hope to do that fairly fairly soon here so we can get some updated numbers but as of the older ones here we do have kyla coin current network conditions on everything 
we are seeing about $2.81 in profit after power at 11 cent per kilowatt hour. If you did have free power, you're looking at about $3.92. Now, Ironfish, which has been for quite some time, is the dominant coin for FPGAs. They are going to be forking pretty soon here. It does look like testnet for fish hash is happening right now. So once they're satisfied with everything that's going on, the fork will happen and FPGAs and everything will be off the network and will be back to GPU mining only. So there is a chance for a nice profit boost there once that hash rate does fall off and first come first serve type of situation, you may see some nice green days. Regardless, right now it is looking like $5.30 if you have free power and $4.66 at 11 cents per kilowatt after power radiant. As mentioned, there's an update available to get more hash rate, so I'll have to try that out. But it is $3.04 after power or $4.32 before you're on free power type of situation. Now, looking at the C1100, I've only tried one coin, and that is Ironfish, and it's currently looking like $1.49 after power or $1.70 if you have free power. All right, guys, so that pretty much does wrap this up. So now just coming right back, we can see that Alephium took the top-notch spot for the 4090. Now, a few things to keep in mind here. People that keep coming in, looking at the top coin, hash rate's going to start spiking, and things start slowly dropping. So the best case here is probably just pick one of the top three coins that you believe in the most, stick your hash rate on that, just leave it there, and then, you know, some days you'll get higher yields, some days they'll be a little lower, but these top three four are constantly flipping each other because hash rate just keeps moving to whatever the top coin is and it varies all over the place so you know you'll probably get better rewards long term if you just stick to one coin one pool and go at it because they are all pretty close to the same profitability regardless that about wraps us up guys thank you for checking out this video i will see you on the next one rabbit out